Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see the GOAT, Tom Brady and the Super Bowl champion New England Patriots as they square off with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. With that, let's get up to Seattle. Standing by at CenturyLink Field, here are Brandon Gotten and Charles Davis. Thank you, Coach. We are in the Pacific Northwest as we get set for football at CenturyLink Field here in Seattle. This crowd, as we've come to expect in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football as the Seahawks get set to do battle with the New England Patriots. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Their meeting in Super Bowl 49 was thrilling. What's in store here? The Pats and Seahawks are underway. This one taken from the seven. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. They'll be led out by their 5'11 quarterback from Wisconsin by way of NC State, and that's Russell Wilson. He's always been an incredible decision maker on the field. Takes care of the ball really well, puts his team in the right positions, makes sure the play calls are accurate. Also was a minor league baseball player. Didn't hit very well there. I think he made a great career choice picking football. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. He'll buy some time right. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. You know, I don't think this is the last time we'll see that in this game. This guy has mobility, and they want to use his legs in the game plan. So there will be designed runs as well as his scrambles. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Here's Wilson. And it's hauled in by Nick Vanell. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opened things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. Looking for more there on first down. But this throw downfield, incomplete. And one of the big bodies helping out this offense is your boy, Upati. And all he wants to do is have running plays called. Fire out and smack people. Here now is second and ten, again from the 41. This is Chris Carson, 1,000-yard rusher a year ago. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. A quick look here at the Patriot defense. Dante Hightower is a prototypical run-stuffing inside linebacker who has the ability to go to the edge and rush the passer, and there's no better example than when he had the strip sack against Matt Ryan in Super Bowl 51. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots D on third down. They go play action with Wilson. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30.
No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Seattle, and it is the Seahawks with the football here as they've got it with a first and ten. So first and ten now from the 30. Now a toss play. It's Carson. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. There's Wilson to throw. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. David Moore, the intended target, and it's third down. By the way, I got to apologize, because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, and we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. I think we'll see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. On comes the Seahawk kicker here on fourth down. It's Jason Myers. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. And Myers able to knock it through. And we have action on the scoreboard just before halftime. It's 3-0. So still no touchdowns in the first half, but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal. So maybe now the mentality changes in this game because anytime you can get to the red zone and if you don't come away with six points, you feel like it's a disappointment. In a game like this one, being able to kick field goals means you're right there and then you're just looking for that big break to take you over the top. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here come the Patriots getting ready on offense. And they're led out by a guy who's done just about everything you could ever imagine to do in this league, the great Tom Brady. It's been a lot of fun watching him develop in his career. But that will to win, he's had that probably since birth, and it transmits itself throughout his entire ball club. Watching him play, it can be an absolute joy unless you're on the other team. First and ten, here's Brady. And he's got Edelman for the first time. That's complete. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Second down, Brady, and Watson has it, right side. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the gun, it's Brady. 
Edelman with a shiftiness. Looking left side, he's got it complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now the Patriots moving quickly, hustling up to the line. On play action, now Brady. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. He's going to air one out. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. On fourth down on now is the lefty Ryan Allen to punt. Back deep for the Seahawks, Tyler Lockett. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Nine seconds to play, likely the final snap of the first half as it's first and ten. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. So we've reached halftime. All we have to show for the first half, a lone field goal. 3-0 our score. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports halftime report. This one's been all about the defense. Just a lone field goal in that first half. And as a result, not too much available in terms of highlights. But that's okay. We've got a full half to go. And to bring it your way, let's get back out to Brandon and Charles. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. These offenses seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 3-0 our score as the second half gets underway. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. Yeah, they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their 25-yard line. So that'll back them up five. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. Now a play fake, Brady. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. 
Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target in the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him. They'll find him. Find him. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now Brady finds his man, Watson, over the middle. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. I'm guessing, partner, that if we're in the huddle with the Patriots right now, there's not a single guy that thinks they have any chance of coming back in this one, especially not with Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah, who's Tom Brady? What's he done in the past as far as comebacks are concerned? Yeah, down right now, but that can evaporate quickly with him in the huddle. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle, and he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. play action. Now it's Brady. And with a flag down, he goes down. So they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. Now they were looking to throw. Holding on a big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're usually going to pick up a holding call. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And Philip Dorsett hauls it in. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 21 yards. on the turnover when we get back. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now. First and 10 at the 34. We got three points. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And an alley to run. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here. Second and 11. Watch the screen. From the gun, a give to Penny. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next.
Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. On third down, it's Carson. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Now here's Michael Dixon, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Brady and the Patriots now. Down 3 nothing. A little over a minute to go. Now they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and ten. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. And he'll get this into the hands of Braxton Berrios. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. Might not be anyone that's run the two-minute drill better than Tom Brady's second all-time in fourth-quarter comebacks. And even though he's second all-time, it feels like first in all the most important comebacks. He's the right guy to have the ball in this situation. He completes it right side of the way. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. They didn't get out of bounds, but that's okay. They need one more just like that to give themselves a chance. Ten seconds to go. One final try now for Brady. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Watson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. So the victory here for Seattle. And not all W's are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense, obviously stuff to work on, but they did enough, and the defense carried the load. But well, you know what they say, it's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket. And that's what they've got going forward. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Seahawks here as we say so long from Seattle.